Hello everyone and welcome back to Genie Crafts. In today's video, we are going to see how you can create a paper cut light box from scratch. Also in the second half of the video, we'll be focusing especially on how to create the light setup to achieve the correct light box effect. So do watch the entire video so that you do not miss out on any of the details. Before we start the tutorial, I would like to tell everyone that this light box and the template both are up for sale. So if you are interested, DM me or reach out to me via comments on the video. So the first thing that you need for any light box is the template for the layers. Now this template I have designed in a software called Krita. I'm still learning it so I have not made it part of this video. Once I have got a handle of it, I'll definitely put up a tutorial on how to create the template for the different layers of a light box. So for now, just assume that you have the template and we'll proceed from there. Also, I'll show all the steps for one of the layers and the same steps have to be repeated for all the layers. For the actual layer cutout, I'll be using this 300 GSM watercolor paper. To start with the cutting process, first fix the template on top of your one of your layers. You can fix either by putting glue dots on the four corners or you can also pin up with the help of clips. Since our paper is of high GSM thickness and you have a template layer on top of it so it further increases the thickness of what you are going to cut. So use a paper cutting knife with a shorter blade. Do not cut it with the A11 blade, it is difficult to control. Use a shorter blade like the one which you see in screen. If you have an even shorter blade, you can utilize that also. Also in all the template layers, the way I have designed it is that you have to remove the white portions and keep all the gray and the black portion. Once you have done the cutting and you are removing the paper, ensure to do it carefully. There are chances that at some places you might have undercut, so do not force the paper out. If you feel that at some place it is undercut, use your blade to cut it again and then remove the paper. And here we are with our first layer ready. Just check if some cleanup is required, otherwise proceed to the next layer. In a similar fashion, cut the rest of the layers and have them ready for the next step. Next step is to create the gap between the layers and for this you can use various materials. You can use foam, you can use you know, thermocol, but I am going to use these 5mm thick sunboard sheets to create the gap. The template layers that I have cut out have a 7mm border around them. So what I am doing is that I am cutting 7mm thick strips from this sunboard sheet to act as the length and the width of the border. And here are all the strips that I have cut from the sunboard sheet. The long ones will go on the horizontal border and the smaller ones will go on the vertical border because we are preparing the light box in the landscape mode. Now pick up the first layer and then reverse it. These sunboard sheet pieces will always go on the opposite side of any layer. To attach these strips to the paper, I am going to use this white PVA glue which is of a little thicker consistency than your regular PVA glue. It will help the sunboard pieces to attach quickly to the paper. So apply the glue on the sunboard piece evenly throughout the length and then place the strip by aligning carefully with the border. Follow the same process for the remaining three sides and for other layers too and make them ready to look like this. For framing the light box, I am using this IKEA picture frame which has a certain depth to it. So I have nine layers and my sunboard sheets are 5mm thick so that's 4.5cm depth created by the sunboard sheets only and my water paper color layers will create another depth of 2 to 3 mm so ensure that the frame that you are choosing should accommodate the depth for your light box so remove all the stuff from the picture frame and just check once that whether your picture frame is able to accommodate all the depth or not and now we'll move to the light setup part which will happen on the back closure of the frame so for the led setup at the back of the frame i have purchased this 
multi part led strips from amazon online as you can see that this is not a continuous strip but it is in the batches of 3 so the three led lights are clubbed together and then there is a wire and you can position the remaining three at your location also this strip comes with a double sticky tape at the back so you can stick these pairs of 3 together in a desired pattern on the back of the frame so i'm going to create a linear pattern of 5 rows so i will need 15 of these block of 3 to create my led grid you cannot plug this led strip directly into the main line or else it will burn out for lighting the led strip you are going to need this 12 volt adapter which can be easily found in any electrical shop and once again on amazon online too so you can buy a fancy adapter or you can buy a simple adapter it's your choice to create the led grid separate out the pieces and then arrange them in the desired pattern just ensure that you are not cutting the wire accidentally After the LED grid arrangement is done you might find some of the wires sticking out so use a cello tape to stick them to the base this will ensure that these wires do not poke into the layers once you close it over your picture frame Once all the setup is done plug the wire in and check if all the LED lights are working perfectly in case there are some additional LED light left then you can just cut out the wire and utilize them for some later project And now comes the fun part of arranging all the layers to get your final light box structure. Start with the topmost layer and start putting the layers upside down one by one on top of each other. Once you're done with all the layers, cover them with the back frame containing the light setup and close your picture box. And now for the most anticipated part as to how it is going to look once I plug it in. So Let me just plug it in and close the lights also to see how it is going to look in light and in darkness. It has come out much better and beyond my expectations. In case after, you know, seeing the entire setup in action, you feel that the layers arrangement is not good and some layers needs to be in front and one needs to go back you can always change that as you can see in the final outcome you might have seen that the person meditating is in front of the trees and not behind the trees so i did that change once i saw that i am not able to clearly see the person meditating i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as i did in making it if you guys like the video then please do not forget to hit the like button and do share it with your friends Also subscribe to my channel for regular videos on paper arts and I will see you guys very soon in my next video till then stay safe take care and bye bye